This is the next unit I picked up for spring van of the year. And I will be taking this unit. This is my first unit for week six. I will be taking this unit up to Morrisville, North Carolina. And then from Norrisville, North Carolina, I have a load um, leaving from Cleveland, North Carolina, and it's going to Fort Pierce. And then I'm um, not sure where I'll be going after I go back down to Fort Pierce, Florida. But so far, those are my, this is my, my two, um, two unit journey for week six. Made it to my drop. Getting my stuff out of here. And now, guess what? I'm headed to the train station. No more Greyhound. If it's a train available in the area, remember, take the damn train. <laughs> so the train is late, but I'm okay. I, I, it beats the Greyhound any day. And the people here, um, like the customer service representatives, um, the train, whatever you call them, front desk people, they are so nice, so respectful. And you don't get that at the Greyhound. Greyhound people are rude and alley and ghetto. Mean. Ain't nobody got time for that. I'm just trying to get to one point to the next. So we still out here. On the track track. We just wait. Yeah, we're just waiting. drop out here in Fort Pierce, Florida. I'm now in the driver's lounge waiting for my Uber. Okay, my Uber is $83 to the airport. So, I'll be heading to Atlanta, do a layover in Atlanta, and then to Panama City to pick up a unit. And then I'm going home to Stone Mountain, Georgia. Drop that off and then I'll be, you know, I can go home after that. Um, our the money, um, like for the, the flight, I was really, I already spent money because it was like I had a credit. So I used the credit to buy the ticket. And um, last week when y'all saw me at the airport, I used my points and my ticket, my airline ticket was only $6. And I put that on that video so y'all can see. It's other ways, you know, y'all can use credit cards and, um, you know, use your points and stuff like that and get, you know, cheaper flights or sometimes, you know, almost free flight. made it to Panama City. I'm tired and sleepy. It is 12 o'clock here. So, like, and 
you know, in Georgia, it's actually one o'clock in the morning. Way past my bedtime, I'm usually off the road by 8.30 and in bed or sleep, you know, in the unit sleep or whatever. So I had to get a hotel because I picked up another Sprinter van and I'm not sleeping on the floor in this Sprinter van and my back be hurting. I'm not sitting up in the passenger seat and my back be hurting. I'm going to get me a good night's sleep tonight. So... I'm going to be going home tomorrow and I'm thinking about taking the next week off or have some appointments I have to do and I don't, you know, want to be worried about am I going to make it back in time if I take a run. So, I'm just going to take the whole week off next week and probably do some stuff around town like maybe some live from Amazon Flex or something like that see what kind of money I can make. Just so that I won't be, you know, all for a week with no, you know, no income or whatever. And I actually um, am thinking about doing, um, I like these little sprinter vans. So I looked into a sprinter van company that does over the road. I'm actually thinking about doing that next summer and um, doing, you know, like a little eight week series on that just to see how much you can make as a a spreader van um, operator, uh, independent contractor. I've been thinking about it, so uh, we'll see. I got, you know, some other little things that I'm thinking about doing. I'm thinking about um, opening the, my little Turo business back up. I had put my personal car on there, and um, the lady that rented it, she didn't take care of it like she should. Um, came back with a hole in my leather seat. And my speaker is burst. So I, I quickly took my car off because Toro said that the damages wasn't, you know, um, was it more than $250 deductible. So that was basically my expense that I had to fix. So I took my car off because I, I love my full runner. I love it to death. And um, I'm just going to go and buy like a little, you know, like a little, maybe a Honda Accord or Toyota Camry or, you know, one of those economy cars that don't cost that much money and put it on tour and see if it, um, you know, makes me any money. And if it does, I don't know. Maybe I ain't going to have to be out here next time on the road driving from state to state you know if i can grow a turo business and then um use that money to um you know invest more into real estate which is really what um i have you know set as a goal as a retirement plan for myself um real estate and uh, you know my plan was never to um stay in the truck forever so i have to have a plan outside of trucking for you know, some passive income, and right now, I'm um, thinking about doing Toro and investing more into some real estate. I already have one rental property, and I own a couple pieces of um, land in my hometown. So, yeah, I think Toro is going to be, you know, the best thing for me. Um, when I did put my full runner on there, I had two bookings. So, I think I had it on there for maybe like a week, and it got two bookings, so I'm thinking, you know, if I find a little economy car and put it on there, that it, it, would, it would do well. So, we'll see. I, I'm going to um keep y'all posted on that as well, and if I do get a car, I'm going to, you know, vlog the whole process of buying the car and, and whatever else goes with, you know, Toro, like, um, the... GPS to keep up with the car and all that. I'll, I'll document all of that for y'all to see. But okay, I will see you guys tomorrow when I drop this unit off. My best friend and I, we got you know some plans to go get some lunch. So um, yeah, this will be my last week until the week after next, and then I'll be back with more vlogs. Thank you.